the short answer I think is as today, I think AI is not here to take the jobs as of now, I'll say, but AI is here to upskill everyone who kind of believes in it. So I think content creation as a whole is a massive, one of the fastest growing markets in AI. Because you have to think about what are the tasks that I do on a daily basis? Which one of these tasks seem to be mundane and repetitive? And can I use some help in these areas? Everyone gets to save time and to invest that time to upskill. Our guest today, an expert in AI, Ajay Yadav. He's the co-founder of Simplified, a comprehensive AI content creation platform. Being an entrepreneur, he has been recognized by notable sources such as Forbes, CNN, HuffPost, and TechCrunch. Through this conversation, this is what you're getting. We're breaking myths regarding AI and their roles in career. Let's also hear ideas that enable you to perform and thrive in your career. Let's hear about specific tools that help you save time and then use that time to boost your performance and presence at your job. Let's welcome Ajay Yadav. Ajay, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Allow me to start with a very novice statement. AI is stealing our jobs. I'd like your input on how people perceive this and what's your view on this? I think is the, despite the question that's being asked everywhere, right, since AI has arrived. So the, the short answer I think is as today, I think AI is not here to take the jobs as of now, I'll say, but AI is here to upskill everyone who kind of believes in it. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when something new happens, it's like I kind of go back to like when blockchain happened, any technology that ever came around, right? Even internet happened. Not everyone was like, I am going to be on internet. Mm -hmm. I want to go online. I want to use this thing. People always know, no, I like the old school way of doing it. And some people were late to the party. Some people were super early. I think AI is going through the same phase where people have a belief that, oh, this is the future. I see it and I want to be a part of it. And some people, I don't know what it feels like, how this AI would do and does it replace me? Does it upskill me? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. In that case, they think, I think I should maybe just watch it. Mm -hmm. And some people are like, this is a bad technology. We should not be using it. I think it's going to replace everything, right? Mm -hmm. So I am going to stay away. I'm not going to contribute to this advancement of AI. Mm -hmm. Because the more people use it, it becomes a part yeah, of our lives, true. right? It becomes yeah. common everywhere. And I think, so I don't think it's here to replace our jobs, not yet, you know, because I do think that when humans get the time back, if AI can solve problems that are mundane and that are repetitive in nature, mm -hmm. then you eventually get the time back to yourself. And I kind of go back to this concept of like people have been working, they were working seven days a week. Now they're working five days a week. Now there's a whole concept of four days a week. Mm -hmm. It's all happening because technology is there and we've upskilled ourselves with new tech to do more with less. So can this AI actually do things for me where I don't have to worry about my job, but I can do more and get time back that I can use to do things that matter more to me. True. So this is what I heard you say. AI is not here to take our jobs. And okay. you certainly said not as yet. What I heard in the background that spoke even louder was AI is here to enable a significant portion of what you do today. I think enhance you, right? On a, on a day to day basis, I think if AI can come in and enhance me, right? It's like acquiring a new skill, but I have someone now that actually already has the skills mm -hmm. and they work with me like your best, smartest intern mm -hmm. or an assistant that is super smart, can learn, can take guidance really, really well, directions really, really well, right? So I can now be upskilled right away to do more. Mm -hmm. This is very powerful. Because the audience who's listening and watching this are committed to their career growth, let's us look at how AI can enable them. And then allow me to set a little context. Mm -hmm. The broad spaces in which people from versatile industries need help when it comes to career yeah. is mm -hmm. A, 
finding lucrative opportunities for themselves so shortlisting getting themselves ready it's just not an interview anymore there's a lot of preparation that goes into it so that's one part how can we enable them to present themselves well do their search right how can ai leverage how can ai be leveraged there and then the next part that i'd like you to focus on i know this is a long question yeah. the next question that i'd like you to focus on is um how do we help these the youths the people committed to their careers be able to sustain their jobs so. search is a big one i think how you i mean using it i mean finding a job is hard maybe let's just start there finding a job is actually right. quite difficult right? right and i think it's because uncertainty around you know some jobs even not in your own city actually i think if you look at like basic job requirement i have that i want to make this much money mm. i want to live in this city right um i want to have this type of role and i want to work in a certain size of a company right. it's like very basic bare bones questions that you ask right and you sort of like search them online and find companies and you often find companies that are not even active with the job applications and you just set up some of your application you think the job is just you're going to get a response back and hopefully you get the job or at least a call for an interview right i think in this case what's happening is if you use ai first is everyone everywhere you apply they look at your resume hmm. your profile i think if you're not if you're not present online you almost don't exist right hmm. and each resume almost looks like it's been copied from the same exact place hmm. starts the same couple of pointers i blah 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 did this and my school how old i am in india i see that very basic template right but what happens in, in that resume is i make the resume i actually forget to add my addition of value add or things i achieved during my job anywhere mm-hmm. but you just say i did this right but you know say what whatever you did how did that contribute to right. your success your team success and the company you work for mm-hmm. and sometimes that is an articulation of like maybe i am a better writer and i can articulate better than you do not everyone is good at explaining what they've done right not everyone can articulate better right ai solves that <clears throat> tell me more let's and deep dive there so if you actually ask any ai tool and chat gpt or you can use simplified right and you give it your profile Ooh. so you can actually copy your linkedin url mm-hmm. <clears throat> or you mean resume you can upload your resume right. actually and say i this is who i am so explain what where you are i'm applying for this in this job you can even mention the company you're applying to you can even mention the person the hr hiring manager that this is the person that's going to be looking at my application okay. now i have the experience and in broken english you can say this is exactly what i did for each company and how this impacted basically mm-hmm. now can you rewrite this resume mm. to show focus on value more mm. than just the bare bones i know excel sheet and i did four years of work there and i did this i coded this program or i did this sales blah 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 whatever that was right like more than a years how, what was the impact but explain that right. ai would rewrite the whole resume for you i think within seconds actually and you can keep asking yeah. now you can even ask ai hey here's my resume can you give me feedback Mm-hmm. So AI would read that and give you feedback. Mm-hmm. If you like someone else's resume or profile online that already works in the company or maybe a similar profile, you can give that to AI say I like this profile a lot. Can you help me rewrite mine to similar style? Right. So now in hiring once you find the companies you want to apply to, the next big step is you have this really good application mm-hmm. that might stand out, but it goes beyond that. once you find the people who might be responsible for giving you a job you can now ask ai of course you have my application this is the profile of the person that be, might be reviewing my profile can you write a personalized message from me based on my resume that you already did for me and based on the profile you're seeing so they you know do open up a line of communication mm-hmm. it can be linkedin it can be a tweet it can be a dm it can be an email it can be whatever and you do this personalized approach for every single person in every single company so they're not all getting this copy and pasted message that they get all day long wrong subject goes <clears> to <throat> wrong person no you're tailoring it for purpose yeah so it's highly tailored intention. exactly so they feel like wow you took the time to do this thing actually mm. but also very personalized mm. so your chances 
at least of communication are much higher than someone who didn't do that. It's a very basic of the job search because it starts with the resume. It's, it's the profile that really matters, at least in this case. And now going to the second question is how do you upskill? Yes. I think I think of this as a basic example I can give. If you work in, let's say, if you work in sales as an example, a very common job of a salesperson is to reach out to a lot of people. It's almost like the way it goes is I have 1,000 prospects. I'm going to reach out to all of them. And hopefully someone opens up my <laughs> email, message, SMS, very just the same thing, right? And it's very copy pasted, the same thing. You don't think of the, each person as who they are, right? I think if I am a salesperson and I want to upskill myself, I would think, okay, can I actually reach out to more people? Mm-hmm. I only have certain time, right? I can't hire people for myself. It's my job to do more, right? With the help of AI, you can actually write personalized emails text, DMs, LinkedIn messages for thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Right. You can't do it by yourself. Right. You go one by one and AI goes one by one as well, but mm-hmm. personalized and with much faster speed. Mm-hmm. So now you can say, hey, if I was reaching out to a thousand people, <coughs> I can now reach out to 5,000 people. So I have 5X'd my reach outs. That's right. That's right. And from there, not even that you have 5X'd your reach outs, you've actually increased the high intent and relatability with these people. Mm -hmm. So now you have these highly personalized messages. So I feel, oh wow, you took the time to get to know me. And this message actually is much better than the generic message that I would have received. So I think your open rate might go up. Same thing can be applied to, let's say, customer support. Mm -hmm. And if I am a support specialist, you know, I'm, I'm supporting a lot of customers all day long. You answer the same question 10,000 times again and again, right? You write the same exact results again and again. And you might have a copy and pasting answers, same thing again, right? You can feed all of that data to AI. And AI can actually just help you find the information faster. Mm -hmm. Because you're going through sort of these things where, can I get a refund for the plan I bought two days ago? You might know it. If you're uh, older in the company, you might not know it, right? And then you have to look for the documentation to figure out if that's true or not. That's right. Or you have to actually ask a manager or someone else to help you out, a colleague right. or whatnot, right? There would be a document that speaks of a standardized response. That exactly. You but they have to go and search it and you have to figure this out, right? Mm. With AI, the answer would be there in like mm. a millisecond. But also mm. now you can personalize that. Mm. You can ask AI, hey, this is the answer I typed. Broken English, I'm saying. Just to say, no refund in two days. Please make it nice. And with context, with whatever that is, right? Yeah, exactly. Rewrite this in this context. I want the customer to feel this way. That's not... powerful, actually. <clears throat> if you can just speak of an outcome and how AI can yeah. then make it easy for you. And do it again and again. Now you are answering to more people just by being the same person. So now your closing rate goes up. Mm. Your response rate goes higher. Your maybe satisfaction with the customer goes higher, right? Mm. So now you become this employee that is like shining in the company. Like, wow, that person is actually closing more tickets. And not just closing tickets, actually paying attention to each and every customer mm. where there's empathy, there's care, there's attention to every detail. So the customer feels like, wow, I was actually taken care of. I feel like there's a one-on-one approach, very personalized approach for me. So I think both parties are happy and the overall the company is very happy with your work. So hopefully you get to grow in the company nice. because you've used AI to kind of like really upskill yourself. We were talking of upskilling. And what I heard in the background is how you spoke about how AI now helps you dial up your warmth. Because there were two references where you specifically said you can actually put in a prompt that says, how would I like my person who I'm sending this to, to feel? And right away, we're just talking about copy. We're not looking at other aspects. We're just like, what are you writing and how is that being used? And the two prompts that you're using is how would I like Dash to feel? What I'm hearing in the background is that one place people need to upskill themselves is awareness of emotions to be able to leverage artificial intelligence. I think the big thing is okay. I think why I'm starting with writing is because writing is how we all communicate. It is the basic of the basic. And the other way to do it in business is all writing. Mm -hmm. You might be writing emails to potential clients. You might be responding to your managers new hires, right? Support. So it's not like, I know I'm busy, so I'm going to write a lousy response to you that can have an impact on your business or your job and whatnot, right? 
So not only I want to write a very personalized message with care, also I want to save time on just writing. It's just writing itself. So if I use AI to start writing and rewriting my text, whatever that is, right, I get to save a ton of time. And that time can be used to upskill, mm. hobbies, whatever that is. But I think mostly upskill. You have the time back mm. to focus on bigger things. Sometimes I think employees ask themselves, I don't have the time to actually prepare myself for a promotion. Mm. If I did X, then I might get promoted, right? If I took on an extra challenge, I might become a manager. You know, like how some of these things, and sometimes it happens like, I've been in the company for four years. I like to take a leadership position, but I don't know how to be a good manager. So the question is, can you take a class, a course to learn how to be a manager as an example, right? Yes, I can, might be the answer, but I'm so slammed with my job that has actually kept me there for four years, same role, maybe some hikes. I haven't found the time to upskill myself. Right. Now AI comes in, wow. saves you some time, mm -hmm. you got some time. Same job, same work, even if you say one hour a day, you can now invest that time into learning about how to be a manager. Mm -hmm. You finish a certification, go back to your manager, say, hey, I just did this, mm -hmm. and this is how I end up getting it done. This is an opportunity for me to actually try this at least. Right. So now you can scale, mm -hmm. make more money, mm -hmm. climb the ladder, and do all these things. You've just helped ideate so many places that they can leverage AI individually yes. in their personal space. So identifying this is my goal. And if this is my goal, how can I leverage artificial intelligence, whether it's work, work based goal or it is a personal goal so that I'm better at work. I see that. Yes. I mean, I think it's like if any employee, I think anyone who's listening to this, right? Any, I'm saying anyone who's thinking about that, how can I be more efficient mm -hmm. and upscale? any job, I'm saying any job from delivery to writing to marketing, ops, sales to whatever your department is, I'm, I'm very sure that there's some version of AI that applies to you. Mm -hmm. Because you have to think about what are the tasks that I do on a daily basis? Which one of these tasks seem to be mundane and repetitive? Mm -hmm. And can I use some help in these areas? Everyone gets to save time mm -hmm. and to invest that time to upskill, right. to either make more money in the same company, mm -hmm. or if you're looking to upskill to join a new company, you need that time back. You're not gonna get that time back unless you change something. Right. And that change is not gonna happen that I hire an employee for myself. It doesn't work that way. You're, an, you're a contributor in the company. So as a workforce, I need to use technology to make myself smarter, better, and faster. Mm -hmm. So if I can do that for myself, then I have a chance to succeed, mm -hmm. climb the ladder, make more money, be more Powerful, very powerful. I think that just makes them think, okay, this is my role. These are the five things I do. Just go Google it and put artificial intelligence alongside. Very just see what pops up. What pops or up. put this in chat GPT to begin with. To begin with. And see what pops, pops up. Right? Even if, have you seen those jobs actually where you review applications, review numbers and whatnot? Yes. <clears throat> just a calculation even like. Yeah. What if you said like, hey, here's an accounting sheet. And I want to make sure that the numbers match up to the total number at the end. Mm -hmm. Just basic I'm saying, right? What do you do? Take a calculator out, <laughs> input all the numbers mm -hmm. one by one for each and every paper. Mm -hmm. And you match the total is matching the total on the sheet. Mm -hmm. Upload that data and just make sure you ask the AI, can you please calculate this data for me? Right. And make sure the number is matching. Right. You're done. Oh. So that can be applied even at the basic level of that job. Everywhere it's applicable. Mm -hmm. You just have to figure out what those tasks are, like go start with that list find a solution online, start with the basic, even one thing at a time, and try to automate that as much as you can. Talking about sustaining jobs, yeah. what are some tools out there that our youth can use that enable them to, let's use both sustaining as well as finding jobs? I mean, I think the first thing even before that is the, if I wake up today in my job, I want to make sure that I actually know what tools are outside, like out there, right? Mm -hmm. So I think going to like Twitter now, of course, x.com, or even just basic news, mm -hmm. newsletters. Because the first thing is to, intention, to, intention is to educate myself. Right. Not by like, hey, 
I have to go and research this thing, but I'm on the list now and I get an update every, every day. Oh, that's powerful. Yes, and automation. Newsletter, automation, right? Yeah. So it's like I get to see what new tools are in the market. Hmm. Because every tool is very different. Hmm. Some of the common tools that are people using, the number one is writing, of course. You see OpenAI, ChatGPT, something like Simplified. Or tools like I've seen Instantly AI as an example for uh, sales emails and sequencing, mm -hmm. you know, or Stable Diffusion Dali for image generation, you know, image generation. or Runway ML, or, Runway ML. or even Simplified for video creation, mm -hmm. you know. So I think there's a lot of tools that are out there mm -hmm. from, you know, asset creation to the ops management, mm -hmm. even like interior design, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of bunch of apps out there that would help you with interior design. You just like tell the AI, I want this room to be with this color and with this type of couch and blah, blah, blah. And it projects the image and shows you what the imagination would look like. And then you can see your house in a certain mm. way. You know? see your house in a certain way. This mm. applies everywhere. You can All right. So Ajay, when you're speaking, um, of course, it's clear AI is going everywhere. And it's really important for industries to rise, wake up and tap on the opportunity. What do you see in the next five years in terms of specific industries or specific roles that will start to shift and therefore people are invited to ride that wave? What do you recommend? Ooh, tough question. Um, I think the start of AI was just the writing mm -hmm. and now I went to image, video, audio. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to see this all merged into one. Right now you have to kind of like this one by one. This specialize in video models, and then you have image models, and you have text. And now it's becoming just one. Text can become video, video can become image, and image can become video. Audio can come into play, dubbing is happening, all this. So I think content creation as a whole is a massive, one of the fastest growing markets in AI. And I think second is going to be just the jobs where we've seen a lot of repetitive sales, CRMs, support, even ops, mm. all of these things are going to be scaled completely using AI. It's happening already, actually, you know. And I think overall, just the finding job, upskilling, mm. the labor, the HR, that's all going to be changed using AI as well. So I think AI would touch everything, but these are the first ones that we're seeing already that's where AI is being implemented because the large workforce needs to be trained. People need to make more money. People need to have jobs, right? be more creative. So I think that's where the creative field, the AI comes into play. And a lot of robotics, actually. I know it's a very different topic in robotics, but I think we are looking into where AI can minimize the error or maybe not even have it at all, you know? And we can have for day-to-day -day tasks where robots have always been deployed already. It's not like they're bringing in new ones, right? It's just being more efficient. Like everyone wants a delivery on time. Precisely. Whatever those small things are, right, that bothers us and whatnot. I think mm -hmm. it's going to apply to all hardware where we can see it happening as well. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. So I broadly heard content creation. That's across, that's not just one. for the social media industry, but across. The second I heard sales, marketing, CRM, all these spaces to leverage it. And the third thing I heard, robotics, automation. Yep. What is your advice for how professionals today could use AI for not just job security, but to start to have a larger vision for themselves. So it doesn't maybe it maybe might not apply to everyone, but I think every job has these couple of tasks. Regardless of what your role is, you all do it. And I think at that mundane level, this can be automated using AI. Mm -hmm. Some of it at least, you know. Mm -hmm. Even imagination. I think like if you there's a really good story that my friend told me that if you actually, you can practice with AI. Mm -hmm. It's like, imagine you have an interview and you have no one to ask, but you say, hey, AI, you know, I'm going to audio and you record the answers and questions and go back and forth with AI. You can do that. Impressive. And AI gives you constructive feedback mm -hmm. based on all the data and whatever you feed to the AI and whatever the AI knows. And now you've been upskilled mm -hmm. already. Instead of saying, I don't have the money to go outside, hire a coach or someone and do that. Right. At least you have this start for very cheap or almost free. Precisely. So you're already making the moves to enter the workforce mm -hmm. where the technology is helping you upskill like 
day one almost. Right. That's really impressive. I'm feeling motivated. I'm already looking at, there's a, there's a mental checklist happening on, hey, how can my job get better? Because I'm into content creation. I'm also into creation for trainings and, and enabling people to do present themselves better. This is a very eye-opening conversation that I've had with you. Well, I thought I was using AI, but I see, oh, sh the scope so is much, good. much bigger than I thought. So thank you. I've tremendously seen so much value in this conversation. I can only imagine what's opening up for people from there. Well, thank you. Really enjoy the conversation. It's always fun. Thank you for watching this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Do remember to like, subscribe and share. You might be making a difference to someone. We'll see you again.